Now, President Trump's campaign is now suing three states over counting of ballots. In Pennsylvania, there are several legal battles underway. One of them deals with whether ballots received three days after the election can even be counted. Another would stop votes from being counted until his campaign is given more access to some ballot counting locations. In Michigan, the president is looking to stop ballot counting completely. That lawsuit was announced shortly before the Associated Press called the race in Michigan for Joe Biden. And over in Georgia, the Trump, the Trump campaign is trying to prevent some absentee ballots from being counted. It's asking a judge to secure and account for ballots received after 7 p.m. on Election Day. Our election team coverage continues this morning. ABC 10's Kevin John is joining us live now. And Kevin, we're hearing from a local law professor on the president's legal challenges. Tell us more. Yeah, Kirsten, that local law professor right there saying that it will take time for everything to play out. Obviously, a lot at stake here. Meanwhile, here in Sacramento County, ballots still being counted this morning. In fact, election officials say that there are approximately 360,000 ballots that still need to be counted. As far as across the nation, Kirsten, those three states that you just talked about, President Trump fighting back against them. He's claiming that there is cheating going on and attempts to steal the election from him, which prompted his lawsuits. A legal professor we spoke to says we should uh, basically it's not expect an outcome anytime soon. People need to be patient. The secretary of states of the various states don't have to certify their election results until uh, days and weeks after the election. There's time for there to be an accurate count. There's time for recounts if necessary. Now here in California, ballots cannot be certified until November 20th. That's the last day that ballots can be received through the mail, but they have to be postmarked by November 3rd. Now this process can take days, even weeks, Kirsten, until everything plays out. That law professor went on to say that ultimately the Supreme Court could rule on whether or not recounts will happen in certain states. Obviously, we saw that with the 2000 election between Bush and Gore, but still a lot at stake here, Kirsten. And of course, we'll do what we can to keep you guys updated.